Today I'm calling on all the public school districts to submit reopening plans that give parents the option to send their children back to school five days a week. Or parents can choose to keep their children home and receive virtual instruction. Governor McMaster's remarks today on the reopening of schools in the fall has left some school districts heading back to the drawing board as they finalize their plans. As you just heard, the governor says he wants all public schools to open their doors by September 8th to allow in-person learning for students. However, the governor said parents should also have the option to have their kids stay home and learn online. News 19's Alicia Niabez and Lauren Thomas spent the day contacting our local schools. We begin tonight with Lauren and Lauren, what do these districts have to say in response to the governor's remarks? Especially yeah, we knew going into this that we weren't going to be able to reach all of the Midlands school districts. And we know that this has been a very fluid situation for these school districts around the Midlands. But what we do know is that they're trying to finalize their plans. They're trying to get ready for the school year. And we got a chance to speak to some of the school district superintendents. I got a chance to speak to Dr. Craig Witherspoon of Richland One, who says, hey, they're reworking their plan right now. We were looking at several different models and several different, uh, not a, a this or this or this, but, but combinations. Again, virtual being an option uh, along with hybrid and possibly, for example, with some of our special populations, uh, more time meetings. So we were looking at, at, at various options or combinations of options before. Um, um, I, I, I can tell you we were not looking at a full everyone five days a week before, again, given the, the community spread and given the conditions here in Richmond County. Uh, so again, that's something new uh, that, that has been put out there right now and, and, and we'll, we'll have to evaluate that. Richland One originally wanted to start in late August, but now they are reworking their plans and, and thinking about starting on September 8th, which was that suggested date by Governor Henry McMaster. And when it comes to Sumter School District, they originally had a plan that was finalized saying, hey, we're going to have a virtual model, fully virtual, starting on August 17th. But now they're going to have to rework their plans. And they sent back a statement saying, there are several factors that we have to take into consideration regarding the safety and well-being of our students and staff when decisions are being made. And dialogue is currently taking place regarding this matter. Because again, we heard from Governor McMaster who said he wants to see these students having an in-person option and a five-day in-person option as well. I also got a chance to hear from Lexington too, and they said they haven't released anything yet, but they are planning on releasing a plan at the end of the week. Clarendon One also got back to me and says that they're planning on making several adjustments moving forward. Now, I did not hear back from Lexington One, Fairfield County, Clarendon Two, or Lee County at this time. But again, we weren't expecting to hear back from all of these school districts today. Uh, but what we do know is that their websites have been providing updates for families on uh, what they're working on right now, which are different, different models, whether it's in-person or that hybrid model where students could be taught virtually and in person. So we're still waiting to hear back from those school districts. Alicia, who did you get a chance to talk to today? Well, let's start with Clarendon 3. We left them a message today, but on Monday when we reached out to them for a similar story, we learned they're in the process of developing their plans for reopening schools and they're in the process of finalizing them as well. So we'll of course keep everyone updated. Next up is Kershaw County Schools. So this is interesting. Kershaw County Schools, their plan is actually in line with what the governor is recommending. They're giving families three learning options. Option one is kind of the traditional brick and mortar in person. And then the other two options, option two and three are both virtual learning. Option two would be in real time. And then option three is more of at your own pace. For example, option three kind of appeals to a family maybe whose parents work during the day, but they want to be available when their students are doing the lessons. In a school board meeting last night, the board approved a September 8th start date to give them more time for planning and more time to put those plans into action. 
Next up, we have Lexington 3. They detailed a reopening plan, and that was sent out last night. A parent choice form will also be mailed out where parents can select the learning model that best fits their child for the first semester of the 2020-2021 school year. For the upcoming school year, the district is going to have options for students, including virtual learning and going back into the classroom. There's also going to be a hybrid option for middle school and high school students to only go to school in the classroom two to three days a week. For Lexington 4, we left a message with them today, but Earlier this week, when we were working on this story, they told us they're planning to send out a survey to parents and community members. They're trying to figure out how many people will choose that virtual option, and they had a meeting on Monday to discuss, but they tell us they are still finalizing those plans. Next up, Lexington Richland School District 5. District officials, they tell us they have a plan in place that already includes a five-day traditional option and also that virtual option we've been talking about. The full plan, by the way, will be shared with parents, they said, later this week. And they're also considering a change to their school calendar, but they said that change can only happen as soon as the school board approves. They will let us know what happens. In Newberry, the school district of Newberry County, they had a meeting tonight and a workshop session to discuss their plans for the 2020-2021 school year and they plan to release the reopening plans, they tell us, by next week. For Orangeburg Consolidated, we left a message today, but on Monday, they told us they're still trying to work out developing a plan for the upcoming school year. The superintendent did tell us he has spoken with all of the principals as they try and figure out a plan. They will let us know what happens. And Richland 2, we're still expecting an August 19th start date for Richland 2, and they'll have a three-phase approach which includes e-learning in the first phase, a hybrid model in the second, and traditional classes in the third. And these school districts that we've been talking about, Lauren, they are gonna to continue to update their plans on their website. So what we've done is we've put an article at WLTX.com listing all of these school districts that we've been talking about and a link to their websites. So you can access the most up-to-date information at any time. We'll try it again. Alicia, Lauren, thank you so very much. Reaction by parents to the governor's request has been mixed tonight. Many parents posting comments to our Facebook page for and against the idea. One viewer said, finally, a governor with some guts. The children need to be in school for their education. But another said, I truly think the schools need to stay closed until we get the virus under control. You can have your say tonight. Just look for the story on the WLTX Facebook page.